Okay. Because a lot of people come and say, it's a scam, you're trying to get the money, blah, blah. We put this energy supply system on the net because we have set up what we call Cash International Space Institute. And we want to fund our institute out of our own knowledge. We don't need to go to governments. We don't need to go into people asking for funds to do the, the, the institute. So what the purpose of the institute is that by April of next year, we will take 100 scientists from around the world. We try to be just and take one or two scientists per nation maximum. And we will teach all our knowledge to these scientists over a period of six years. And they go back to their countries and they set up their own nation's cash foundation, which means whatever is made in their country stays in their country. Our foundation is non-profitable. So what we make in the United States from the usage of our technology, it will be used within the United States for education, for teaching, for feeding, for all sorts of humanitarian grounds, but we have full control over it, and it's an open book policy. So uh, why we put the three kilowatt was to raise the funds for our foundation, for the Space Institute, or what we call like a university, that to be set up in the next few months, and anybody welcome to come and learn. You're not scared of your own well-being, are you? Do you have concerns? Oh, I've been scared too much. Uh, we, we had all sorts of things that can happen. As you know, I don't know, we don't, you don't see it on our site because we just removed it a few weeks ago. And it's well known to the people who know me and they know about my technology. I was arrested by the Canadian government on board of a plane transit from Brussels to Mexico City. I was interrogated for four days. I was in prison for seven days, and I put back another plane sent back to Brussels. And there were at times up to 12, 14, 16 different security officers from intelligence and everybody else interviewing me. And when I was released, the stupid people left all their documents and all the fingerprints and all the paperwork and my luggage. So I put all the bags and the Canadian government immigration, everything on my internet. We still sit in our site under www.cashfoundation.com forward, uh, forward slash special. You can read it. Or I think a few other people have picked it up and put it on the international website. We have been threatened. Everything we have had, we have no problem with it because there is a knowledge which everybody needs because we are not just the energy. We are not just the... Uh, space technology. We brought our knowledge into medical, and I say, whoever you are, you're a president, you're a peasant in a farm, sooner or later you become ill. And in that point, when there is no cure, we are there to do impossibles, because our knowledge goes back to the essence of creation. So in destroying us, you destroy your own future. Maybe your wife has a heart attack, or your son ends up with a cancer. Sooner or later, we are there to help. So why do you destroy what is going to save you? And a lot of people who are around us to understand what we are talking about. First of all, I want to go back to the three to four kilowatt power generators for just a moment. And then I want to come back and talk about what happened to you and then go on to the medical part. But I'm sure that you're making these technologies and these advancements and the knowledge available to who would be receptive. But if not enough companies who could really use it are receptive enough at the right time, isn't there a point to offer these systems to individuals, let's say, who want to power their homes or power their cars? And isn't there eventually going to have to be a time where agencies around the world are going to get this up to a certain point? And then if they're not receptive, it still is moving forward. Do you know what I mean? Yes. What happened? We are putting this system out next year ourselves. We offer 10,000 units to go out next year. So uh, by the end of next year, we already received a lot of, um, what do you call it, offers and deposits and people who are booking for it. The booking is 500 euros. The unit is 5,000 initially. That's euros. And if we do not deliver or any problem with our system, all the money are refunded. So we have no problem with it. But on the other hand, the energy crisis is opening a lot of eyes. 
into what other alternatives are in the world of energy. And ours is one of them, but the only difference we have with others is that we don't work with the coils and magnetic, what do you call it, the Tesla system. We work with the magnetic fields the way the universe operates. So with our systems, we do everything on the same principle, with the medical side or anything else. And sooner or later, people are coming back to us and say, okay, we would like to do this or we'd like to do that. For nearly 30 years, 20 years, I tried to negotiate with NASA to start the new propulsion, leave the propulsion system and start this what we call gravitational system. They chose every possible way to block it. No doubt. Me to, <laughs> pardon? I have no doubt about that. Yeah. And they even, uh, I give you, there's Mr. Alan Kennedy, the chief uh, patent lawyer of uh, NASA. He, they put us directly in touch with Boeing to develop the technology. And the Boeing, we met them, we gave them the, the videos of our weight reduction, the lift system. We took our system to their offices in Brussels. I've said this before. And what they say, you know, for Boeing to send a CD from Brussels to their offices in America, how long does it take usually? Knowing that they have something like 10, 20 flights from Europe to America every day? Have a guess. I don't know, 48 hours? Two months, two months. We, in the meeting, in the conference, we gave them the video in Brussels to their specialist. And the contact or the point of reference or contact we had in America who was supposed to leave it, for two months he says, I have not received the CD yet. Yeah? That's strange. So this is not a strange, it's a blocking new technology. And then they explained to us in a very short way that we have we invested billions in 747, 800, and the rest of it. So we cannot bring this economically to be viable. But no problem. They have to follow. They are a profit-making. They support a lot of pension policies and pensioners around the world through their system, through their technology. A lot of life insurances depend on them. They didn't want to play. The Iranian government wanted to play because they want to jump this scarce base of propulsion. So we handed over the technology. I thanked them for their support they gave us while I was in Iran to develop it. Now they announced a few weeks ago, we have, the pro we have a spaceship program. And they said, oh, a spaceship program. No, we announced two years ago when I came back from Tehran. We have transferred the know-how and the knowledge and the full transfer technology. Now... We see what's happening. A lot of people, I get a lot of people, you know, networks like you on the side coming and asking why. And in the past two weeks, we released for the first time the videos of our laboratory uh, taken for our private, uh, what do you call it, evaluations and research of the weight reduction of these systems to Mr. Bill Alk which is one of the interviewers like you, and they have seen it and they spoke about it in their interview. So for the first time, we released a very controlled amount of information out. So it's not that nobody has seen it now. We released it to press for the first time. Very soon, we're going to release it publicly. But there are certain things that have to be prudent not to do and not to go too fast. I get that. So, I totally get that. For the first time, we've shown our videos of weight reduction because our system is only weighs 7 kilo or 9 kilo, depending on the configuration, uh, which Mr. Ark and the co-presenter of him, they both have seen it and they talk about it in the show, that it reduces to 6.7 and it goes to 6.1 and then 5 kilo, 2 kilo and 0 and the system takes off. And we can take off from the our roof of a house. We don't need the huge, what they call it, Cape Carnivals to launch things anymore. We're all very concerned about not only what has happened in Japan, what is continuing to happen, and the implications of radiation spread in the United States. You are in a huge danger. Go on my site. Go on the forum link on my site. Cashfoundation.forum, I think is PHBB or HPPB. On my site, if you go on the purple band, go on my forum, read Japan. I have put a link how much radiation is coming to the United States from Japan. I went to the link that you left, but I don't understand what I'm looking at. It's a map of the radiation which is coming from Japan into the United States, all the radioactive materials. 
There's some information you have to fill in in order for the map to see what's actually 